he has whispers about Allah and about religion. And so uh, does Mubashir from Bangladesh. These whispers are generated by shaitan. And we all know this. The companions had it. And the Prophet said to the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, that this is a sign of Iman. Because they did not talk about it. And because of the Iman in their heart, shaitan is whispering to them. Because the vast majority of people, they don't get these whispers because they don't have Iman in their hearts. So when you get these thoughts, what should you do? First of all, look for the source. Are these thoughts generated by an angel? Or are they generated by shaitan? No one can say, mm, I don't know. No, you, we all know. 100% it's shaitan. If you know it's shaitan, why are you adhering and listening to it? Allah described the plotting of shaitan to be weak. Can you be weaker than shaitan? That doesn't make any sense. If my enemy brings me a mug, and he, he's my enemy, I know he wants to kill me. And he said, this is green tea. I prepared it for you. Go ahead and take a sip. If I drink it, would I be responsible for killing myself? The answer is yes. It's your mistake. You know he's your enemy. Why do you adhere and believe what he says to you? Without any doubt. Likewise, shaitan whispers these thoughts into my head. Why would I believe him? Then it's my mistake. And there is a lot of things to be said in this regard on how to counter shaitan. But this would take a long time. And this is why we have counseling sessions where usually we talk and exchange a dialogue with the person who's suffering from these thoughts and ask him, subhanallah, why are you getting these thoughts? Are you the chosen one? Among the two billion Muslims on earth, you're the only, mashallah, righteous and practicing person who gets these thoughts? Or you are the one who allowed shaitan to mess up with his head? So you have to fight and acknowledge that this is your enemy talking to you and prevent him from communicating with you at all. Uh, awesome.